everyone. I have had like a filming marathon, not because I had to film anything, but because I actually really enjoyed the creative time and I made sure I had some time to myself to be able to make some art, do some swatching. Uh, I got a bunch of new art supplies in the colors that I'm loving right now. So it's so important to have that time to yourself. Where I'm going with this is that we are on to week four of school summer holidays and the first three weeks just flew by and I haven't been able to do much art. But this week and a bit of last week, I really, really made sure I had the time because it just makes me feel much better. Um, so here I want to try today these two brushes that I bought. They are the Dina Beckley media brushes in size uh, one um, so in size half and one and a half and these are um, inch related sizes so half an inch and one and a half inches and these brushes um, I've taken a course recently where these brushes were used and it's a trusted artist that I know they're not going to do anything to to advertise is because they really are enjoying the products so that's how I roll and um, yeah so basically um, the bristles meant to have you know a lot of spring don't know if you can hear anything but they're very very springy and so because they're quite hard it sort of will give you a nice uh, nice texture Okay, so I want to do that and I want to introduce a bit of um, this cobalt blue colour into my art. So you may have seen me working on this. Did I or did I not? No, I actually, I showed you the other one one second. So very similar in the sense of um, style, just a little bit of um, working with actually with this brush the Princeton Velvet Touch is a three-quarter oval mop and I was just trying it out and I was also um, working with this paper the Etcher watercolor block that has been recently sent to me by Etcher and so you can find it in this video here I'll link it up there if you're interested so that's the paper that's what I've done and now I want to just go ahead and add a little bit of something. So at this point um, I like to think of a rotation and to me I don't even remember which way which kind of direction I did it but this feels good so I'm gonna stay with that and I'm going to think of a composition. So I don't want to add anything here because we already have something here so let's kind of maybe connect the two pieces uh, slightly and also bring a bit of lighter color. I want to keep these lovely areas here. Um, so maybe something up here where I'm not distracting it a little bit. And then at the end, um, either I will use a bit of the fluid acrylic or a bit of crayon. This is oil pastel, um, something like that. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to try out the new brush. I'm going to go straight in like that. Never use such a big brush, but I kind of like the idea. So here I'm trying to um, create marks. There's zero water on my brush, so I'm just blending the edges out and connecting the pieces, which I like the look of. And then if I wanted, so I like these edges, but if I wanted to have more thickness, which I like to have in acrylic, I just go in and kind of create this texture like that. So if I wanted to add a little bit of something on top of it later, I could do it um, and then the paint would kind of go in those little grooves. So I do like that. Um, 
and just thinking what else I could be doing. So at this point I'll take a moment just to take a step back and think about whether I want to add this pink anywhere else or I want to do something uh, different in terms of moving to another colour. So I was contemplating adding the same kind of thickness of the medium, so that's the heavy body acrylic, but I decided <clears throat> to actually change change things up a little bit and use Dallarani System 3 acrylic ink, and this is a portrait pink. So it will be a bit peachier than buff titanium and it will be slightly kind of lighter I'm thinking and just add another color but still staying with it that lightness and also this original paint here I think this was antelope brown and the FW ink so I've got it um, mixed up here the other thing I like about these brushes is because they're so chunky, you don't need to worry about sticking them in the water like that and just dealing with them later because the metal is covering the handle so nothing is going to happen to them. And I use a uh, like um, a small jar anyway for the water, so probably this one uh, would be submerged in the water a little bit too much so basically don't leave the brush in the water unless this metal kind of is staying above the water and don't don't do that even for too long you know if you do do that okay so i'm going to use two drops here and see what happens without water but i do like this medium with water because it creates that watercolour effect, soften things down, so it has lovely opacity to it, I quite like it, I'm going to add one more drop, there we go, you can see how lovely and opaque it is, and whether I want this to be like so or if I want to blend it out a touch you have to make a decision relatively quick when you're working with acrylic inks because they do settle quickly so here I'm just going to move this color slightly more like that so this acrylic paint may be still wet so I don't want to lift the texture that I created so I'm just going to gently tap on just to not have a strong line here between the two colors but kind of blend them in a little bit just like that and then I kind of feel like I want to bring a little bit of this pink up here as well so I'm going to do that with heavy body I just don't like any water I just prefer to use it as a paste really there that works nicely so here I'm again connecting this area a little bit and also this area so we kind of have a composition going I feel like these shapes are a little bit too similar so I'm just going to try and have a gentle approach to it and then I will try to bring a slightly more contrasting color to this composition to then break down the the blobs so to speak that I created here 
all very technical. Okay, so I'll let it dry a little bit and then we'll bring in the lovely blue. Have it quite a minimal color palette and um, that way it kind of has a more contemporary look to it. All right, so I had a little bit of time and I pulled out this woody, which is also from the recent August haul. It's a, a Stabila woody. Basically, it's a crayon. So I'm just thinking of kind of doing a few marks. And the good thing about this woody, although it's white, it's not going to create that stark white look because you can still see a bit of color come through, which I um, sometimes want. So I don't want to have something that is just way too much, if that makes sense. And, you know, some areas here have a peachy white look, some areas where you go with darker colors, it has more of a slightly a, like a um, warmer tone. But the idea is that I'm just bringing a little bit of lightness here and again just creating interest on this side. I feel that there's some interesting um, texture which you can see when you are close to it. But not necessarily can you pick up on that from the distance so something needs to go here and I might use a bit of that brighter color in these sort of area but kind of want to bring a bit of white in here and at the minute maybe the acrylic paint is not fully dry it's um, blending it with the acrylic a little bit I find so I'm just trying to kind of scratch it against the texture here as well also I don't want to have a straight line here between the two so I'm just Actually, it's bringing out the texture really nicely. So, hopefully you can see. Um, do I want to... Okay, so, I've never used the cobalt teal in the fluid acrylic, so I don't feel like adding a large area of it. It only needs to be quite small, so I think I'll start with the blue chromium green, this is Sanilia oil pastel and really ideally I just want to kind of connect these two areas here a little bit without doing too much Maybe that's even already a little bit much, but I'm kind of creating a little bit of texture and going to actually smudge some of it in. And that adds on, on a little bit of something different. So here we have a line and here we just have a bit of softness to it which I think works really well. And then maybe these areas here could connect a bit better. Yeah, that looks nice. I kind of feel like getting a little bit of white there, but let's see, that's just going to probably smudge into it. Oh no, it's actually, it's working all right. It does lighten it ever so slightly. That's quite good. Oh, I know what would work well. A bit of oil paint. So I have two color options here. One is Flash Ochre and the other one is Antique White. And I think I'm going to go with the Antique White. So to wake these colors up, you would need one of these tools, a little palette knife. 
and just lifting a little bit of this skin that creates if you or after you use them a little film um, creates over the paint okay so now I'm just going to go over this is oil paint so it really melts in and we're kind of knocking back this paint the blue just a little bit I might want to really bring in the oil paint quite strongly into this but without creating a huge area there so what I will do just on the edges I will soften it like that but I want to keep the thickness right here I'm very tempted to use my finger but I think I'm just going to go in like so just blending the two together so this one will never dry it'll be quite smudgeable so it'll need to be um, set by a fixative whereas these oil sticks it's real oil paint in a stick form you will not need to do anything to it it will dry uh, in a day or two depending on the color and the thickness and that's it so I quite like the texture so I think I'll keep it at that I feel like I want to add a bit of something else to it but it's one of those situations that sometimes it's just better to wait a little bit before you do anything I do like these wide scratchy marks here so maybe just expand them a little bit let's see what happens if I just take it somewhere here I don't want the eye to go too far in here so I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit so we have something but not too much so I think I'm happy with the way it is I will leave it for now and here is a little close-up for you so this will need to dry for a good day or so and then everything except for this area which I will need to set for the fixative will be all fine to touch thanks for watching see you soon